Hey guys, welcome back again. We have for us yet another Daryl Dixon teaser. It's only 36 seconds long, but we're getting closer and closer to the premiere date. We have just a little under a month, I think. And so they're, they're kind of teasing us with little bits of like uh, what each character is going to bring to the table. We had a couple different teasers with a couple of the newer uh, characters and everything. So I'm really interested to see what more we're going to have revealed in this teaser, if it's going to really uh, leave us with more questions, because that's what teasers are for. But <laughs> anyways, uh, let's get into this teaser and see what they got for us. You hear that? It's Paris crying. Why don't you find American? You did it your way. Oh! Now we're going to do it mine. How did you come to France? It's a long story. And it's a story that I'm very interested to hear. Okay, so let's dissect this just a little bit. Uh, in this first shot, we got this dude. I don't know if we've gotten his name yet. I might have missed it in one of the other teasers or trailers. But he seems to be an ally. And we had that shot of the Eiffel Tower now. I wonder if this is under the Eiffel Tower or just some other monument talking about how the uh, building is settling or whatever it was he said. That, you know, So they've probably taken residence within a certain structure like this. And in this next shot, we this is a familiar shot. We've seen this in the trailer and a couple other teasers where this is obviously the beginning of the outbreak from Isabel's point of view where she's sitting in a subway tunnel waiting for a train to come in, and then we see what appears to be walkers attacking people on this subway. And just, it's full-blown outbreak at this time where people are in full panic and just they're not understanding what's going on. So I'm really interested to see her background story. And I'm always interested and excited when they do flashbacks of seeing the fall, seeing how everything went down, and seeing the fall of society and just... All of it that's that's always been really interesting to me when we get flashbacks in any of these shows where we get to see how things went to shit basically and just seeing the cities go down and see how things just came to be uh, that that part of it is always interesting to me and it's something i wish they tackle in other types of apocalyptic type shows and here, uh, like I said, here's the shot of the subway train that's rushing by and we see people running for their lives and everything because they're being attacked by walkers and that's just the beginning of the end. Now this is interesting. We have this shot of this group. We don't know who this group is. Could this be Cadron's group or could this be a whole other separate group of survivors because there's no shortage of crazy people within this world. And so these people could be just completely off their fucking shit and just utterly dangerous in every way possible. Or who knows, they could just be a bunch of kids or a bunch of uh, people that are just, they put on this spectacle and everything to be, to appear as frightening, to scare people away that might pose a threat to them and everything. Because it's in the next shot, we see what possibly could be the same group of people and they're all chanting and everything. And it's that second after we get this other shot of walkers jumping out of this building. And I don't know if this must be something that they do regularly to kind of freak people out, or maybe they bring people here to die or just whatever the reasoning is behind being in this spot, chanting, watching these walkers jump out of these buildings. Because obviously all of these buildings are still probably full of people that got trapped and died. And now they're, being used as traps or they're being used just to simply scare people because we saw something similar within dead city where they are used as a form of defense almost and just there are people that got trapped and then they died and now they're just there anytime someone makes noise down on the street level they're going to do what walkers do they're going to jump off just to get to these people and so I'm sure there's people that take advantage of it and use it as a way to defend their areas or just set them as traps or what have you. Here's a shot of what appears to be a hooded mystery figure. Could this be someone else from our Walking Dead world? Probably not. I'm going to say that this is probably just some other new character they're introducing. Or hell, maybe they'll surprise us. Maybe this is Carol. Maybe this is how she gets introduced into the show. And we'll get some kind of explanation why she is there and how she got there and how she found Daryl and just... A whole slew of questions that we have regarding her character and 
how she came to know everything because we know that she's going to be in the second season because she's already been seen on set and she's already filmed and everything. So it'll be interesting to see who this is. Maybe it's Carol, maybe it's not. I would not hold my breath to say it's Carol, though. It could just be some other random character that they have. And here, this could be a flashback to, or maybe it's the end of the first season because Daryl has his bike and his crossbow. And this has always been kind of a topic of discussion, too, because within those scenes that we've seen where Carol is back, and it seems that they're still in Paris, maybe, uh, he has his stuff back, and how did he get it? Did it? Was it on this cargo ship that he happened to be on? And I'll just, a lot of different questions and things up in the air about where he gets his stuff again and how Carol gets there. It's just, it adds to the further mystery of the show and everything. And so it'll be interesting to see where he got his stuff back. And that's really about it for the big scenes of it and everything. So it'll be interesting to see how they move forward. With this series, uh, the one, the big thing that I'm looking forward to is the fact that uh, a lot of the scenery just looks amazing. You know, we got this filming in France and everything. It's completely out of the spectrum of what we're used to. And just to kind of focus in on Daryl, because Daryl's always been an interesting character, and now we get to see what he's going to be like on his own, the adventures that he's getting into, the trouble that he's getting into, while he is what we believe to be anyways still on the search for rick so far this series has been confirmed for two seasons they were in the middle of filming the second and of course it's been shut down due to everything that's going on but uh i am really interested to learn about our new characters see what kind of variants they're going to bring because they have confirmed at least one new variant called a burner which we saw in the first 10 minute opener that we got that's it's a uh, essentially burns you with just touch from its blood can also burn you so there's the added danger of how you kill these things and how you have to be careful doing so so i'm just really i'm really excited for the show actually and because dead city was really good and now we're gonna we're waiting on the second season of that we're of course waiting for the first season of rick michonne to hopefully bring all these characters together you know it's probably wishful thinking but i'm hoping that's what they do with the rumblings that I've heard about different things going on down in Georgia again. So hopefully we will see some kind of resolve to the big kind of plot hole that we all want filled and we want to see all these characters brought home. But as far as Daryl's series is concerned, it looks really good and I'm getting more excited with each teaser that they're giving us. So it'll be interesting to see where they're taking it, especially with Loran. We haven't got a whole lot of context about the whole story with him and Daryl needing to get him where he needs to go because he's supposed to be this revival of humanity. He's supposed to be this spark of hope, if you will. And what that really means is, are they going for an immunity angle? Are they going for just, he could um, spark uh, as far as bringing people together again in this situation that the world's been in for so many years at this point. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed my reaction to the trailer, you enjoyed my thoughts about it, please leave a like down below leave comments and as always subscribe to the channel if you like what you saw so until next time guys i'll see you later bye